Hi guys, today I show you my last part of Czechoslovakian currency, the money reform in 1953. So this is one crown. Note, state note. You can see the text is in both languages, Czech and Slovak. And these notes were printed in Moscow, in Goznak print, secretly, because of course the regime, socialist regime denied the money reform until the last moment. Later they was printed after the reform day was printed in Prague with different numbers. So this is one crown and this is three crown. State note. Watermark is the same on all these notes. And this reform is used to be called the big money theft. This is five crown because the Communist Party practically ruined the money saving of people because they changed 300 old crown in ratio 1 to 5 so 60 this new crown and all about 300 crown was changed in ratio 1 to 50. Then we have the 10 crown. And after the Second World War, the people must They must save same amount, some amount of money in bank because there was a lot of money in circulation to the blocked account and during this money reform these accounts were cancelled without refund. So practically a lot of people lost everything which is said there was some suicides even the people who support communist party before demonstrate so this is 10 crown and this is not state note this is bank note as you can see And also all these old this note are printed by offset and book print which is sad because the Goznak print had much better equipment for notes. It was the main Soviet print in that time. And then this is 25 crown note. This is Janžiška Strosnova, leader during the Husid revolution in Czech. This is 
this is Tabor city the city was founded during the revolution then we have green 50 crown note Soldier and civilian. On the back is Slovak town Banska Bystrica, where the Slovak national uprising was declared. In 29th of August 1944, and the last note is 100 crown. There are two figures one symbolized industry, and one agriculture. As you can see. And on the back side is Prague, Prague Castle, Charles Bridge. So as you can see in these notes there are of course Czech and Slovak motifs, but the overall design of this note is very similar to Soviet Union notes from this time and also these unusual nominals as free crown and 25 from the Russia and I would like to show you also this 50 crown from 1964, the last Czechoslovak note I have. It has the new coat of arm because in 1960 the Czechoslovak Republic was changed to the Czechoslovak Socialist Republic. You can see this is old, old of arm, and this is new. Also with motifs from Slovak National Uprising. This is Intaglio, print in Prague. Not bad design. And this is Slovnaft, the factory in Bratislava where the oil is refined. I had some more of these socialist notes, but I sold it already. So that's all, thanks for watching and goodbye.